Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to instantiate in Godot 4. To get started, you need to create a scene of the object you want to instantiate. So if I do, you know, sprite or whatever, and I create a scene out of that, it should look something like this, where it's a separate scene. This is what we will instantiate. So now in here, I will add a new script. And first variable, we need to do a reference to that node. So let's call it my node. We'll get a preload of my node. And now we need to call the instantiation function, which we could do in the ready, or you could do it on a press or anywhere else. So I will do variable instance gets my node dot instantiate. And now with this instance, you can change the position, rotation, size, etc. But at the end of that, we need to type add child. So we'll add a child to the main and it will add instance. And if we press play, and as you can see, I don't have it in here. So I press play. You can see it spawns in. So I've gone ahead and just thrown it into a function. So that way we can actually call it multiple times. And what we can do is add a parameter. So I'll do pause and the instance dot position will be set to pause. And in here, let's do a vector three of, oh, sorry, vector two of zero and zero. And here I'll move it over a hundred units to the right. So as you can see, we spawn two and they are offset. And you can also do it in the Y, it'll change the position of where it spawns in. Now, another cool thing we could do is function physics process. We can pass in a input event. So I so input is action just pressed. And I have already linked the uh, left mouse button to MB in the input map. And if we put in ins get global mouse position, and we delete this. Now the object will be spawned in wherever we click. So if I click here, it'll spawn here. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.